it was after it was after some time that I began looking within the, uh, within the realm of science for some model that could um, contain alternate realities. So I started dabbling or thinking about or reading about parallel universes, dark matter, those kinds of things. Um, and you know, I'd have no training in quantum physics or cosmology or particle physics or string theory or anything. So as an amateur, you know, I'm a little more free to speculate sort of, you know, kind of wildly about uh, some of the findings within those sort of disciplines. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it started seeming to me that was that what was happening with DMT, uh, particularly with respect to uh, some of these reports of entering parallel or alternate or freestanding parallel sorts of realms of existence is that that indeed was what their consciousness was doing. Uh, that the the chemistry of their brain, which is the organ of consciousness, was being changed by DMT in such a way that they could then receive information um, that we weren't able to receive normally. Um, and you can just think about it like, you know, um, there's all kinds of information that we're not able to see normally that we can with um, a change in technology. For example, uh, with a microscope, we can see things that are around us all the time that are very, very tiny, but we wouldn't be able to see them without a microscope. Um, you know, if we want to be able, you know, uh, if we want to be able to um, to see things at night, we then put on night goggles and we can see things that are going on around us that we wouldn't normally be able to see, but with a change in uh, technology, with a change in the receiving apparatus or the receiving characteristics um, of the mind or the you know sensory apparatus between the, um, the phenomena and our consciousness, we're able to see things we normally can't see. Um, there's a whole realm of, you know, visual things that occur in the UV spectrum, which we can't see normally. Um, but if you apply UV light, we can. Um, <clears throat> so in the same way, I was thinking, well, you know, there are parallel universes, it seems, at least that's a theory in modern physics. There is, is dark matter, which is uh, a huge amount of the matter of the universe, maybe 95% or more. Um, so you know, as radical an idea, as just a logical extension in some ways of uh, instead of using a machine to see more than we normally can see, we're using the brain to change the configuration of the brain to see more than we, no than we normally can see. Uh, so within the context of the alien um, abduction phenomenon, um, you know, I, I just don't have any comment about uh, people's experiences where they have pieces of you know, metal implanted in them, or they talk about their ovaries being removed and things. But, um, you know, it, it would seem to me that there's probably a spectrum of those contact experiences, at least as far as the reports of those contact experiences. And, uh, you know, it seems reasonable to hypothesize that there's a spectrum. Uh, and one at one end of the spectrum is, is pure consciousness to consciousness encounters. Uh, and there is no, uh, you know, stigmata. There are no bits of objective, you know, uh, material evidence, any kind of, a, a, any kind of, any, yeah, um, 